Hey Moglets, today we're going to be looking at the special program for version 2.1, basically the other half of Inazuma, maybe, Genshin, Genshin, you're late, well that's pretty hilarious, they are uh, streaming it over on Billy Billy, uh, it's Uni, oh. can see it on Billy Billy, but it's in Chinese and there's no subtitles, so <laughs> we obviously can't understand anything. Genshin literally just forgot to start it on Twitch. That's so hilarious. I've literally lost sleep to catch this stream. A and they're only streaming it on... Well, a lot of people in her chat are saying the uh, English one starts at 9.30. So I guess we're just gonna wait for that. Not what it says right here, Genshin. Just saying. They are now 31 minutes late. The emote only chat is obviously not having it. <laughs> Genshin, bro. This is the second time you're late now. Okay. I think it says they're live, but nothing is happening. And it says they're offline over here. It says live now. Floating world under the moonlight. I really, really want Coco me to be honest. So adorable. That was an intense trailer. Moon chase festival. So apparently this is going to be the main event for 2.1. Something in Leoa. So it's essentially a storyline. Two types of event gameplay. Moonlight seeker. So you have to go collect these uh, little green tokens, the moon chase charms. Ooh, and a chest. Brand new claymore. <laughs> it's a fish. Okay, that's pretty hilarious. All right, cool. So we can uh, R5 it for free. Trail of delicacies. So essentially you got to go to monster camps. You can also offer food for buffs. One year anniversary, login event. Ooh, 10 intertwined fate. Oh my God. Whales rejoice! Well, not even, like... Oh, here we go. Other islands? They're gonna be talking about story here. I'm just gonna cut this out for anyone that hasn't uh, completed it yet. But yeah, the uh, double top-up crystals are uh, coming back. I knew they would do that at one point, because they did that in Honkai as well. And yes, different divisions, but I just, you know, kind of figured that would happen at one point, so... So yeah, obviously we're gonna have uh, the next Archon quest. New characters coming! Of course we got Ball. Booba sword. Well, I guess we should say Booba spear now or Booba pole arm. Okay, so she's kind of a bit of a buffer it looks like. Her burst looks sick. I've heard she's going to be more of a uh, battery though, so someone to give a bunch of orbs. Yeah, recharge energy for all teammates. Next new character. She looks kind of like a uh, Mona catalyst user obviously. Kokomi was it? Oh, healer. Okay. Healer plus Mona, it looks like. Sounds like. What? Oh. So she's like a pure healer. Negative 100% crit rate. <laughs> Definitely unique, I gotta say. Crits are completely useless. Crit stats. Last character. Toma? Is that Toma? Oh, so no. Ah, that was the leader of the, uh... The leader of the, the, the encampment place. I forgot her name. I forget everyone's name because I'm dumb. Or was it Kokomi that's the leader and she's more of like a sub-leader? I don't know. Oh yeah, Kujo Sara, rival general. I was close enough. So she'll get crow feather cover with her E. Okay, so she also recharges your ally's energy. So her ult is AoE damage plus another attack boost. Oh, okay. I thought Kokomi would be the uh, four star. So Ball and Sara are coming together. And then yeah, two new five star weapons, engulfing lightning. That's th that's the real Booba sword, I guess. But she changes her weapons. So she has the sword and the spear sometimes. So it's Booba sword spear. There's also Aloy from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn co coming to Genshin. I think it's only for PS5 first. And like a month later, everyone else will, go will uh, get her. I thought, I thought this was a joke when I first heard it. Uh, it's obviously really cool. I just really wasn't expecting it. She's a cryo archer. Your party needs help. I'll do what I can. She sounds just like herself. Yes, two new islands. Watatsumi Island and Seirai Island. New enemies. Oh yeah, there was that electro oceanid. I don't know if it's going to be called that, but it's... Yep, there it is. I feel pain already. A hydro- finally the hydro cube! Last one! Now we have all the elements, I think. Yeah. It shoots dolphins! Oh boy, hope it's not gonna be harder than the pyro. 
Oh my god. Sin Signora? Something like that. My lore is pretty rusty, honestly. Jesus. That whip, though. Oh, she's gonna be a weekly boss. Pog. Fishing. Gotta craft a bait. Different bait for different fish. And you can cast your net. Then you have a bit of a mini game here up there you can see. So you can exchange it for new fishing rods, other rewards, or use them in cooking. Apparently we can also raise fish if we capture a special ornamental one. Okay, so in the teapot we'll have a uh, new thing, a new um, pond here where you can place your fish and raise them. Lunar Realm, new event, focusing on fishing, free-for-all fighting tournament. That sounds interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can use your own characters or trial characters, form six teams of two, and fight some enemies. That's pretty sick. Spectral Secrets Expedition Event. I think we've had something like this before already, so it's quite similar. Serenity Pot update. So duplicates of items will have less load, so you can put a lot more of one thing. They have to be in the same room, though, apparently. But yeah, I suppose that's pretty much it for the main contents of 2.1. They mentioned some other things, like uh, the uh, band you see playing live here. Uh, doing like an online concert. Some kind of massive Paimon block where uh, you can send in your message and have a chance to get it engraved on one of the blocks that make up a six foot tall Paimon. That'll be coming in some official news later. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, really excited for this update, obviously. You know, new Inazuma Islands, new characters. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.